is James Lanier. I died tonight at 26. <laughs> I'm jumping ahead of myself here. All you need to know is that the person I was before tonight, that person is gone. That life is gone. Friends, family, all of it I need to leave behind. Because I'm not James anymore. I'm something else. Something I don't fully understand yet. But in time, I think I might. And so, I began my tumble down the rabbit hole. Good evening. My fellow kindred, my apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siring. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. However, the accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. They were caught shortly after the embrace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without a sire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is not lost. Good evening. Your sire, tragic, my apologies. But you see, 
there is a strict code of conduct that all of us must... must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone, breaks these laws, they undermine the well-worn fabric of our centuries-old society. Understand my predicament. Allowing you to live makes me directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. So, what I'm offering is not generosity, but the opportunity to transcend the fate woven by your sire. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Ah, oh, good to be outside. Huh. <laughs> what a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, kiddo. It's probably a lot for you to take in, so, uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Show me the ropes? Look, who the hell are you? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? <sighs> okay, but, um... Look, first... What... What happened in there? Don't worry, kiddo. You'll adjust. I'd love to explain it all, but time's wasting. You want some help or what? <sighs> okay, look. I... This is all over my head. I, I could use some help. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Look, um, I don't quite trust you yet. I'm like it where I am. At least I'm out of that theater. Christ, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? Wobbly, yeah, but... but a drink of what? Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here! Ha ha ha! Oh, you're gonna love this. All right, check it out. Blood? It's your new rack of lamb, your new champagne, and what? your new fucking heroin, kid. <laughs> Get ready, though, because, hey, it's never as sweet as the first time. What? Oh, okay. What do I do, then? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> so... You mean I... I feed from... From him? All right. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him, then bear those little fangs and feed. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Okay, but, um, well, if I bite him, won't he just become a vampire as well? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Right. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain him dry, okay? It right. might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. Okay, um... Oh. <sighs> I'll try. <sighs> okay. Just around the corner, huh? feel thirsty. My mouth is dry. My body feels dry. Oh god. So it's the guy. <sighs> okay, okay. Is that casual? Hey, uh... You haven't seen any uh, keys back here by chance? I, I think it may have jumped. 
uh, dro drop them, uh, jump on the fence before. No? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, okay. Help. Seems to be. He's dazed, though. Hey, hey, buddy. He's out. Shit. Let's get back to him. Hey. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. Yeah. That's what it's all about right there. Feels good. Look, come. Um, I have to admit, I do feel good, but, um... I don't know how I feel about it, though. I can feel his pulse weakening, you know? I, I was draining the life out of him. But my body feels ten times stronger than before. More. All right, now, you got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. Better? All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for right. vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Yes, so, like, uh, like what then? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality's not a bad deal. Shit. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. So... I'm... I'm gonna live forever? Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic? It's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? <laughs> Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it yeah. just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Sunlight? Uh, well, you get to sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? No sun? Alright, okay. I think I got it. Thanks for, uh... Thanks for showing me the ropes, I guess. Okay, now. Shit. What the fuck is this? What? What's that? Look, you get inside here and head upstairs. We'll meet up in a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go see what the ruckus is. Right. Uh, okay. In here? Right. Shit. What the hell is going on out there? Okay, upstairs, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Uh, Jesus. I can jump damn high. My legs. Uh, is that a lockpick? Haven't used one of these in a while. Alright. Yeah, I should be able to get through there. Oh, come that. down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. Sabat. They're, uh... I was going to spare you this shit till later. Uh, the Sabbat. Well, uh, they're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? What? So, what's all the gunfire? What's what's going on out there? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new place. Huh. So, you mean the guy in the white suit? The one that... one that killed... her? So if he's a prince, what the hell is he a prince of? No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Right. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. Okay, so what am I supposed to do then? Shh, shh. Oh. Heads up. Back away.
fuck was that? How did he... Dumb, frenzied, sabot bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Right, uh, I got a lockpick. I'm on it. Okay. I got this. Uh, this must be the one. Yeah, okay. Almost. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Oh, really? The window? Fine. All right. Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done, though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? Well, look, I know it out myself. I'll say that much. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great. Congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest, and that's what you can expect. All right. So. You mean we have to keep in line? Like. Obey the rules? Who makes the rules? Who makes the laws? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's. And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Right. I get it. Keep it secret. No one knows any better. We stay alive. We stay fed. Okay. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Yeah. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. What do you mean? What could happen? That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? Yeah. That's the Camarilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Right. So, the Camarilla, they're like the... the lawbringers, the, the police of vampires? Mm, yeah. I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. Right. So, what's next? How do we get out of here? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. You know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. Really? It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay, but <laughs> that's all good and well, but what does that mean exactly? You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. We gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Mm, key or maybe a code. If it's magnetically sealed, maybe I can... I can find a machine. I'm good with computers. Look, I'll explain later. But um, I'll find a way. Alright. Okay, there's a machine. Anything else around here? No. Okay. What do we got? Password. Chop shop. <laughs> okay. Nice. Write it down for me. I could try and lockpick that as well. But I'm not here to steal. Let's see. Chop shop. Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's see. Safe. Password. Chop shop. That easy. All right, uh, let's go for the unlock. Boom, done. All right, then I th think I got something here. Hell yeah! There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from topside. Okay, I got it. Um, good luck. All right, okay. Here we go. Shit, that gunfire sounds close. Maybe I should be a little bit more careful. Move quietly. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. Keep it together. We got this. Oh, shit! Oh. You 
save me. Shit. Hey. Fucking waste of unlife, these sabat vatos. You get winged? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Oh, jeez. You know, it's weird. I didn't even notice I got shot back there. I mean, I got fucking bullet holes in me. Okay, so, blood, right? What's the difference? Blood's blood, isn't it? Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not right. the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. I get it. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. <laughs> if you say so. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Okay, but... Let's just say... If I lose it, let's just say maybe I can't control it. What what happens then? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's going to cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Beast? What does that mean exactly, the, the beast? The beast? It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. Okay. Okay, so... Whatever I do, don't kill anyone. Okay. This is all new to me, I... I'm afraid... About losing control. I'm afraid of what could happen. I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12 gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> uh, right. I've, I've never killed anyone, though, before. But. I think I follow. If it's in self-defense, at least in the eyes of the vampire lords, okay. Okay. Thanks. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity and don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Right. Okay. If I feel a thirst coming, feed. Just keep it in check. Okay. All right, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Okay, I'll be back quick then. All right, thanks.